Welcome to the Growth Mindset Company, where we unlock the secrets of the construction and engineering world, making complex concepts accessible and actionable for professionals like you. Today, we're diving into the fascinating realm of fitted contracts, focusing on the critical importance of the base date and its wide-ranging implications across different project delivery methods. Whether you're tackling your first project or are a seasoned expert, understanding these key clauses can dramatically impact your project's success and your ability to manage risks effectively. So, let's embark on this educational journey together, exploring how to navigate fitted contracts with confidence and precision. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you're ready to expand your knowledge and transform the way you approach your projects. Your journey to mastering construction and engineering principles starts now, right here on Growth Mindset Company. In the domain of FIDIC contracts, a global standard for documents in the construction and engineering sectors, the concept of the base date is integral. This date, defined as 28 days before the deadline for tender submissions, acts as a critical marker for defining the duties and expectations of the contract's parties. The base date's relevance is highlighted across various clauses in the FIDIC suite, adapted for diverse project delivery methodologies. Here's a nuanced exploration of how the base date impacts these contracts. Unforeseeability across various editions, the definition of unforeseeable, as found in subclauses 1.1.6.8 or January 1, 1980 across the yellow, red, pink, and gold books, indicates that any circumstance not reasonably predictable by an experienced contractor by the base date falls into this category. This distinction is vital for risk management, influencing project execution significantly. Employer's duty regarding site data, per subclause 4.10, it's the employer's responsibility to share any site data they possess before the base date, with an ongoing obligation to provide any new data obtained thereafter. This clause ensures the contractor has comprehensive information for precise planning and execution right from the start. Contractors' Acknowledgement of Access Routes, Subclass 4.15, consistently applied across gold, silver, pink, red, and yellow books, posits that the contractor is satisfied with the access routes to the site as of the base date, emphasizing the contractor's preparedness in evaluating logistical aspects of site access. Examination of Employer's Requirements the scrutinization of the employer's requirements before the base date, as mentioned in subclause 5.1 for yellow, silver, and gold books, points to the contractor's accountability for any design errors, underscoring the contractor's heightened design responsibilities in these editions. Adherence to published standards, subclause 5.4 across the yellow, silver, and gold books clarifies that any reference to published standards within the contract is to be understood as those additions applicable on the base date, ensuring project compliance with relevant technical standards at a fixed point in time. Legal adjustments post base date, subclause 13.7, and its counterpart in the gold book, establishes the base date as the benchmark for the applicability of a country's laws to the contract. Any legal changes post base date that affect the contractor's obligations provide grounds for seeking relief, addressing the fluid nature of legal frameworks. Adjustments for cost changes, specifically, in the silver and gold books, subclause 13.8 articulates that the contract price and rates and prices will be adjusted based on the cost indexation schedules included in the schedule of payments, if present. This clause is pivotal for adapting to cost variations, ensuring the financial viability of the contract amidst economic fluctuations. Foundational Financial Baseline in the Gold Book, Subclass 14.1 in the Gold Book highlights that the contract price is set based on the contractor's tender as of the base date, with possible adjustments as stipulated in the contract, emphasizing the base date's role in financial planning. Determining Currency Exchange Rates, Subclass 14.15 and 14.17 specifically in the Gold Book, makes the base date the reference point for establishing currency exchange rates, a crucial consideration for managing financial risks in international contracts. The table organizes and clarifies specific clauses from various FIDIC, International Federation of Consulting Engineers, contract templates, illustrating how these contracts address key contractual provisions across different project types. 
The Fittix suite includes several books, each color-coded to represent a different standard form of contract tailored to various construction, engineering, and project management scenarios. This detailed explanation focuses on the nuances and commonalities of these provisions across the Fittix suite. Unforeseeable definitions. Yellow, red, and gold books share a common definition of unforeseeable, implying conditions or events that an experienced contractor could not have reasonably predicted by the tender submission date. This standard definition underpins the risk allocation principles in these contracts, addressing how unforeseen circumstances are managed. Pink Book adds to this definition by considering whether adequate preventive precautions could have been taken against the unforeseeable event, introducing a nuanced layer of risk assessment and management for projects under this contract. Access Root Clause Applicable across gold, silver, pink, red, and yellow books, this clause consistently emphasizes the contractor's responsibility for ensuring the appropriateness of access routes to the site and mandates measures to prevent damage caused by construction traffic. This reflects a common concern across projects for preserving infrastructure and mitigating construction impact. The Red Book uniquely adds a provision for exceptions, which introduces flexibility in applying this clause based on specific contract conditions. Other clauses related to base date. Clause 4.10 across all FIDIC books establishes the employer's duty to provide pre-existing site data to the contractor before the base date, ensuring transparency and enabling informed planning and execution by the contractor. Clause 5.1 in yellow, silver, and gold books highlights the contractor's obligation to review the employer's requirements before the base date, especially regarding design errors. This clause underscores the design responsibility borne by contractors in these contracts, aligning with the turnkey, design-build, and design-build operate models these books support. Class 5.4 across yellow, silver, and gold books addresses the contractual reference to published standards, tying them to the additions applicable as of the base date. This ensures that project specifications align with recognized standards at the contract's outset, providing a clear benchmark for quality and compliance. Class 13.7 across all FIDIC books utilizes the base date as a reference point for the applicable laws of the country, affecting the contractor's performance obligations. This clause is critical for managing legal risks and ensuring that the contract remains relevant to the prevailing legal context. Class 13.8 Specifics in silver and gold books, adjustments for changes in costs are tied to the schedules of cost indexation included in the schedule of payments, with a specific provision that the clause does not apply if such schedules are absent. This ties cost adjustments directly to predefined indices, providing a mechanism for financial fairness in response to market changes. For other FIDIC books, while the general principle of adjusting contract prices for cost changes is acknowledged, the detailed mechanism reflects the broader application without the specific conditionality of the silver and gold books. Clause 14.15 and 14.17 differentiate between the general application of currency exchange rate adjustments, 14.15 for all except gold, and the specific application in the gold book, 14.17, highlighting the nuanced approach to managing currency risk across different contract types. Clauses 17.5 and 18.2 provide frameworks for intellectual property rights indemnification and insurance obligations, respectively. These clauses address critical aspects of risk management, protecting parties against claims of infringement and specifying insurance coverages required for the project. This detailed overview showcases the FIDIC contract's comprehensive approach to managing construction and engineering projects, with specific clauses addressing key concerns such as unforeseeability, site access, legal and financial adjustments, and risk management. The nuanced differences and commonalities across the suite illustrate FIDIC's commitment to providing flexible yet standardized contractual frameworks suitable for a wide range of project types and contexts. Let's face it, the world of construction contracts can feel like a minefield sometimes. 
All those technical terms and legalese can really do a number on your blood pressure when you're trying to make sense of it all. But take a deep breath, because videos like this are here to be your lifeline. By breaking down those dense clauses into plain English, we're arming you with the insights to navigate contracts confidently. If you felt that weight lift after watching, don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up. That simple like is a vote saying, yes, I want more clarity on this stuff. But don't stop there. Pay it forward by sharing this video with others in your network. We all know someone who has lost sleep pondering the finer points of indemnification or notification requirements. This is your chance to be their hero. And of course, for a steady supply of contract knowledge that declutters the jargon, subscribe to Growth Mindset Company right away. We're constantly tackling new topics and breaking them down into bite-sized, actionable tips. Ring that notification bell while you're at it. That way, you'll be the first to know whenever we post something new to make your job easier. At the end of the day, understanding contracts shouldn't be a headache. With resources like these, you can cut through the complexities and get straight to the heart of what matters. No more stressing, no more guessing, just confidence. Like, share, subscribe, it's your direct path to becoming a construction contract superhero.